TikTok, the new frontier. The two-year-old app that goes beyond reason and sanity. But I digress. Streaming to TikTok is a thing that you can do these days, and a lot of people do. And it's not just from the TikTok app anymore. You can stream from OBS or Prism Live Studio. Let me show you how to do it. Admittedly, the script for this video looked a lot different a week ago than it does now. Originally, I was going to show you how to get your TikTok stream key and use it to stream from OBS or Prism Live Studio in Portrait. And of course, I'm still going to do that. But then a really cool plugin was released. One that allows you to easily set up portrait streams in OBS and even multi-stream in Landscape and Portrait. So of course, I'm going to show you that today as well. And that means we've got a lot to cover, so you know what? Let's get to it! To get your TikTok stream key, there is one requirement. You have to have a thousand followers first. And if you have that, you're going to be able to use OBS or Prism to live stream on TikTok. Here's how you find the stream key in the mobile app. Down here in the bottom, you're just gonna scroll to the right until you get to PC or console. Once you do that, this is gonna pop up that has your server URL and your stream key. All you have to do is copy these out, put them in OBS and you're all set. Now I know you're getting the stream keys and stuff on mobile. So in order to copy these out, you're gonna have to be a little bit creative and you can do that by creating text files or something like that on your mobile device putting the text in there and then using something that will transfer it to your computer. Folks that use Mac won't have any problem doing this. If you're using an Apple phone and you're trying to go to PC, it could be a little bit more difficult, but I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. Now you can also load up the TikTok app on the PC. And if you go into go live, you're going to be able to go into a similar location and get your stream URL and your stream key. But just keep in mind, this isn't going to be something that you can do until you have a thousand followers. Now you'll also find if you do any searches on this that there are companies that can get you this or partnerships or something like that. The problem with those and the reason why I'm not recommending them here is because honestly, I don't know what they take from you. And it's not like TikTok pays a busload of money to begin with. So do you really want some other company digging in your pockets? Probably not. It's better just to wait until TikTok actually gives you this screen. And if you have more than a thousand followers, it's only a matter of time. Okay, now let me show you how to create a portrait stream in OBS. Here in OBS Studio, what we wanna do is go up to the top and click profile. And we're gonna create a new one. And we're just gonna call this one TikTok. And we're gonna click on scene collection and go new. And we're going to create one of those as well. Call it TikTok. Click OK. So now we have a completely clean slate. So we're going to go down into our settings. And first we go to our stream. We're going to drop this down and select custom. Here's where you're going to put your TikTok server and your TikTok stream key that we got before. Then we're going to go ahead down here into video and we're going to make all these 1080 by 1920 so that we have a vertical format. You can make it 30 frames, 60 frames, whatever frames per second that you want to run at. And we'll click apply on that. And there you can see that we have the aspect ratio we're looking for. Then we're just going to go up into output. We're going to go ahead and make this advanced. We'll select our encoder and we want to change this to 6,000 kilobits per second. And everything else is probably just fine. We can click OK. Now we're set up to live stream to TikTok. That's all we have to do. Pretty simple setup. Now we can add some sources. We'll just go ahead and click the plus. We'll add a video capture device. We'll call it cam. Go ahead and click the plus. And that's the one we want. I just like to make sure that I select the proper audio. And there we go. Now we can shrink this up, place it wherever we want on here is kind of nice so we'll just put it right here and next we would put our game in the background or whatever it is that we want to do now obviously if we want to do a just chatting scene where we are talking we can just put it like this and there we go so now we have just chatting and we'll add a second one we'll call this one game okay we have the game up and running i'm going to go ahead and click the plus and we are going to go to game capture and click OK. And we will drop this down. I'm just going to capture a specific window in this case. 
There we go. Everything else seems to be just fine. You know, all we have to do is make this look how we want it to look. So we want it generally centered. That's a first person style game. So this one's going to be all centered. So there we go. Now we have a full thing. We don't have any audio though. We're going to go ahead and click the plus. Let's go ahead and go to application audio capture. Click OK. We'll drop this down. We're going to select our game. Boom. Now we have our game audio in here. And the last one we can do right here is we can go and do a combined scene. And what we'll do is we will add our game. And we'll add our camera. And we'll add our audio for our game. And then we can shrink this up like that. And put it wherever we want. We'll go ahead and expand out our game. So there are a couple of different ways that you could theoretically do this. We could get a bigger picture of the game going like this. Put us on top. Then we can shrink the game down here a little bit more. Put it, put it here like that. We are getting a little more of the game. There we go. And so that, that will work. We can create another combined one simply. And we'll uh, add all the same assets. And there we go. So now we've got two different scenes. And let's go ahead and add a transition to this. And we'll go to our Luma wipes. And we're gonna do, there we do. There we go, we'll do a curtain there. I like that, that works. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun. Uh, so now we got just chatting. We can go right to a game. And we've got our combined. Very simple, very easy. All we have to do then, since we're already set up, is go ahead and click start streaming. Then we go over into our app for TikTok and we click start. We should see the image already and we're streaming. It's really that simple to go live on TikTok using OBS. Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing and while you're there, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Now Prism Live Studio makes portrait even easier. Let me show you. Now this works pretty similar to OBS. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna go to profile and we're gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call this one TikTok. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a new scene collection. And boom. We're gonna go into our settings here and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna disable this default audio stuff so that we're putting in here what we want. In output, you can go in here, you're gonna see that you don't have any of what you're looking for. So we're gonna do it ourselves. 10, 80 by 19, 20, and apply that. And if we go here, do the same, and apply that. And of course, now we'll see, we have our vertical video, and we wanna go ahead and set our stuff up in here. So we're gonna pick our encoder. You can see that Prism does a really, really nice job of setting everything up. We want to do 30 frames per second, but you can select 60 if you'd like. So now we just need to populate this. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this and show you how you're going to set up TikTok. You're going to go into custom RTMP and needless to say, TikTok is not going to be listed here. So you'll just put your server right here and your stream key right here and then you'll call this TikTok, and then, you know, save it, and it'll appear up here, and you'll be good to go when you go live. So server here, stream key here, name your stream, click save. Generally, you don't need your ID or password for this sort of stuff because we're streaming to something that's already there. Next, we wanna add our sources. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this little plus here, and in this case, we're gonna go ahead and use some Prism Mobile stuff. And we'll click OK. And let's pull our game from Prism Mobile. 
So all we have to do is go ahead and scan that QR code inside of our Prism Mobile. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up on our mobile phone and we go to connect and then we just scan our QR code and then you'll see that it comes up with camera or screen. We're gonna go with screen, we wanna share the screen and then we click connect. All right, so basically I just held down the shift key and we're gonna stretch it in the ways that we want it to stretch in order for it to look like how we want it to look. So now we have this looking exactly how we want it to look. When I move stuff, you can see that it works exactly as intended. So then we can add a camera here. It's pretty simple. Now in the mobile app, you can obviously add the audio for the game as well. It lets you do that. And we're gonna add a prism camera and let's go ahead and just click OK. And there we go. Got our prism camera added. We're gonna go here and we're gonna use this and then we'll click OK and we can put our image anywhere we want. So there we go. And this is gonna work just like the OBS one. We only have one scene, we can rename this. This is game two. And so we'll go and create another scene here. And on this one, we're gonna go ahead and click the plus. We're gonna take Prism Mobile and we're gonna go ahead and bring our game in here. So now uh, we just have the game two and the game. So we'll create a chatting one and we'll use our webcam and we'll just call it cam. And there we go. We use our custom audio device and there we go. All we have to do is go ahead and don't need to be quite that large. There we go. We can just right click and transform and center to screen just like we do in OBS. So there we go. So now we've got a scene for just chatting. We've got a game scene. We've got a game scene with us in it. We can actually duplicate that if we wanted to. We'll go copy and there we go. We've got a second game scene and we'll just take this prism camera, move it all the way up here and there we go. So now we've got a couple different scenes. So we got our game two scene, our game one scene. We can add a transition in here, super easy. We'll just click here. One of the Luma wipe ones. And let's see here. Let's go with burst preview. I like that, that works. And okay. So now we switch scenes. It's gonna burst it just like that. There we go. Pretty cool, easy to do in Prism Live Studio. Once we have our custom RTMP, all we have to do is click go live, or then we'll select our go live on TikTok and we're all set. Now you can do, instead of a game off your mobile phone, you can use your camera on your mobile phone. So you can use the vertical camera. It's pretty cool. It makes it look a lot more native. Prism makes it really easy to access things off of your mobile phone if you wanted to live stream to TikTok. Now let me show you this crazy new thing. It's called Vertical and it's a totally free plugin for OBS. This is the Atom page where you're going to find the vertical plugin. We're just gonna go up here to vertical plugin. Needless to say, you have to have OBS 29 or above for this to work. And it does work in Windows, Mac, and Linux from what I understand. And it just downloads right here. And once it is finished, we'll go to our downloads. We're gonna double click on here and just make sure this is where your OBS is. Most people's are going to be in C program files, OBS dash studio. Mine is in a different location. And we're gonna install this and click finish. And then we just have to open up OBS. Okay, so here we are in our OBS basic scene. Um, I basically created one called multi and one called multi in the profile and the scene collection. So they are totally fresh. Now I'm gonna go into docs and we can see our vertical docs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select vertical. 
and if it doesn't put it in here, which it may not, just go ahead and drag it over, drop it on the side. Sometimes you gotta fiddle around with this because to be honest with you, they don't like to work. But there we go. So now we've got our vertical in there. Make it bigger or smaller. And we're gonna go to docs again. We're going to select our vertical scenes and it puts it there, which is not where we want it. We want it over here and docs and vertical sources. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna try to place it below here. Now we can kind of organize everything. There we go. We just wanna have it so that we can see all of our vertical and we have our scenes and everything else. So there we go. So now what we have to do, we're gonna right click on here. We're gonna rename this, we're gonna call it game. And we're just gonna add our game. So we're gonna go to game capture right here and click okay. And I'm gonna capture a windowed game. There we go, looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and capture the audio for that game as well. There we go, so now we have some game audio and a game. I'm gonna transform and fit this to screen. And there we go. So now we need to add this to our vertical. So we're gonna go ahead and we have a vertical scene right here. And I'm gonna right click on it and rename it game. And we'll just add our game capture source, which is already in here. And there we go. So now we just need to resize this. So it is how we want it to appear on our vertical screen. And we can actually right click on this, go to transform, and we can center it horizontally. And there we go. So now it's perfectly centered horizontally on our screen. So that's what our viewers are going to see. So the next thing that we can do, let's add another scene. And we'll call this cam. And we'll add a camera. We'll go ahead and very simple. There's our camera. I'm going to change the audio. There we go. So now we've got our camera in here. We can add a second scene over here. And add our camera. And there we go. And so now we've basically got uh, just chatting. We'll go ahead and transform and center that horizontally. Okay, so here's the magic. We go into our vertical scenes and we right click and we go to link and we're gonna link our game scene to our game scene and then we're gonna go into our cam scene we're gonna go to link we're gonna link our cam scene to our cam scene and now when we switch they will switch on both sides very 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 cool so now we can create as many scenes as we want we can link them together we can control them with our stream deck or any other thing that we're using but it goes even farther Right down here on the right hand side, we can see this little control button, but we also have a live stream button. This means that we can live stream the full screen one to wherever, YouTube or Twitch, and we can live stream the vertical one to TikTok or Instagram or wherever. And it's easy to set up. All we have to do is click on the settings button right here and we go into streaming. We put our server in here that we got from TikTok. We put our stream key in here that we got from TikTok. We can use all the same settings that we already set up in OBS. We don't have to do anything else. We just click OK. And then when we click this go live button, we will go live on TikTok. Now Vertical also has a couple other features I can tell you about. You can easily record in vertical for TikTok or YouTube Shorts or Instagram Stories. You can also set up a backtrack key right here. And that's gonna go ahead and save the recording for the last however many number of seconds you determine. So if you're live streaming and you think that this would make a great YouTube Short or TikTok video, you just click that backtrack button. Let me show you how to set this up. If we go in here and we go to general, you can see that you've got your backtrack. You can backtrack enable. You can turn backtrack always on. All you have to do is set the path where you want the files to be saved. And then you can set a backtrack hotkey so you can even use a hotkey on your keyboard or on your stream deck. It will save that file. So you see something awesome in your stream that you think would make a great TikTok. You click that button and it saves out however many number of seconds you have recorded here. 
It's friggin' awesome. Absolutely epic stuff. It is so cool that people are out there creating these amazing tools. If you wanna learn more about how to set up streams in OBS, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.